We're going on a trip this morning. It is currently 7.58, so 8 in the morning. And I am preparing to go to the coast. Very gloomy weather today. I hope it's not like that over in... Where am I going? Carmel. There's a full moon tonight and I haven't been feeling myself these past few days. So I decided I should go on a road trip. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm just getting my coffee, getting my stuff together and we're going. And I'm, I got ready because I do also wanna take photos. That is something I take pleasure in. I love taking photos and like looking for cute places. It's what I love to do. Let's go. I do also think this vlog will be less of a chatty vlog and more of a check out the scenery kind of vlog. So <laughs> as I'm talking, my dog just positioned herself right in front of me in the window. And as they're doing her poopy, my dogs go to bed with a sweater because it's just so cold here. And every morning my dog wakes up and it looks like it's an off the shoulder sweater. Are you wearing an off the shoulder top? That's cute girl. Did my hair differently this morning? Doing no, random things. <laughs> yeah. oh, you look nice. It's Thank good, you. It's a good look. We just realized we can find a better parking spot, so he just went back to get our car to move. Oh, it. yeah, this is perfect. Yeah. I was very nervous to just put up a tripod and take photos, but this really sweet photographer just randomly came up to me and was like, Let me take photos of you. And he just, he took my phone and he took photos, and I love them. I'm gonna go to the beach now. I'm gonna change to a different outfit for the beach. Just standing here taking photos, I've already met a few people and everyone here is so nice. I like your bracelets. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so Enjoy. much. Enjoy. You Have too. A good day. Yeah, thank you. Okay, let's do the 17 mile drive. It costs 11.25. Actually, I think I should look at the map. I have cars behind me. <gasps> this is exciting! Okay, I pulled over really quick because I need to look at this 17 mile, wait, what does it say? Your guide to 17 mile drive. So I'm actually gonna be that person. I'm gonna pull over, gonna, you know, read a little bit of the brief history, check out the map, see what spots I gotta hit up. This is exciting. This map is numbered by, I guess, each mile and Instead of going to mile one, I started at mile 17. So I think I've started at the end of the 17 mile drive, but it's fine. It's okay, we're, we're still doing it. We're still getting the experience. 
I just wanted to do this correctly, but I never do anything as planned, so... I was about to say I never do anything correctly, but that is self-sabotage. That's not true. I do lots of things correctly, just not this. <laughs> running for no reason. Ah, fresh air! I'm gonna drink my green smoothie and enjoy this beautiful beach. Wow, it truly is such a magical beach. I love this so much. Car. Next stop, next stop. I don't know why I'm running. <laughs> I sort of really want to take a photo here with this car. The lone cypress. There she is. Look at this beauty. She is more than 250 years old. And I don't know if you can see, but they tied ropes around it just in case. But she has braved the elements for over 250 years, ladies and gents. One thing I love about the iPhone is that there's a built-in compass. So, I know the sun sets west, so now I'm just kind of <laughs> figuring this out. Okay, I found a beautiful beach that way, which turns out is west. And I really want to try to make it back um, for sunset for some, first of all, beautiful photos and also just to sit around and watch the sunset. But I'm also hungry and I do want to go into town to eat. And you could, you could buy a, an entry ticket and come back, but I just don't want to drive all the way over here again because that beach I saw is like mid drive and it's a pretty long drive. So I think I'm just gonna have a snack now. I have some artichokes, which we love some nice veggies. Basil and thyme, baby. I think I'm gonna go try to figure out where I'm gonna eat. Obviously, I'm gonna finish this drive. I just, 
I'm conflicted because I want to stay here for sunset, but I also have to eat, so I have to go back into town. So maybe I'll just have to find a beach over there, but I, I found this beautiful beach here. Mm. So many people are going to think eating artichokes like this is weird. So good. Not going to get off for this one, but we made it to point 13. Where is she? Where's the sign? It's somewhere over here. Why can't I see it? Anyways, point 13. Let's go. Stop 14 is not only a visitor center, but there's also a restroom. So that's what we're doing. I know why I'm hungry. I forgot to bring a hard boiled egg. Every road trip, every trip, if I'm going somewhere, I will always bring a hard boiled egg. And this time I forgot. There's a few Michelin restaurants in Carmel. This is gonna be weird, but I kinda wanna get takeout at a Michelin restaurant and take it to the beach for sunset. Because it's only, I think, three, and it looks like the sun is about to set, which is sad. I ordered, this thing is broken. I ordered a prawn pasta from the Michelin restaurant. It's called Dimitra. And it's supposed to be very delicious, so I'm really excited. I'm gonna take it probably to the beach. But first, another unpopular opinion, olives are delicious. This is lemon and rosemary flavored olives. I've never had this. It smells interesting. I am starving. I was about to buy a few things off that menu, but it's a pretty expensive place because it is Michelin rated. Um, so instead I'm just gonna have an olive. Mmm. <laughs> wait. Yum. I'm gonna walk around this little town of Carmel because it's so beautiful. I'm really excited to be out right now. The weather's delightful. Okay, let's go to the beach. Five and the sun is officially gone. I'm still eating though. This is a really good pasta. It's definitely Michelin worthy. I've been having a rough couple of days, but I think it's primarily because it's that time of the month for me. Not to make excuses, but I do get very emo during that time. And also, being home, sometimes I just get the, the blues. And I love to take that time when I do get the blues to just go on a road trip and just do stuff. So I'm out here road tripping. It is the full moon. It's such a perfect time to be out here. So I'm just gonna lay out, meditate a little bit. I'm just gonna enjoy my last few minutes out here. And yeah, I don't know if I'll see you a little later. If I don't, thanks for watching today's little vlog. Bye.